guys and dolls, welcome back. It's me, Cora. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my Gypsy Fortune Teller inspired makeup tutorial. So I gotta do this with the sleeves. Um, <laughs> uh, in all seriousness, I had so much fun creating this look for you guys. I want to thank you guys for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I want to thank my new subscribers, for my subscribers that have been around for a long time. Thank you guys so much. It means so much to me that you actually take the time to watch my videos, to like my videos, to rate, comment, and subscribe. You have no idea how much it helps me out and I really appreciate it. I'm going to have a full list of products in the description box down below. I'm going to have photos of the look at VintageOrTacky.com. If you recreate this in any way, shape, or form, whether you do the eye makeup or, you know, you do the costume or some portion of this actually inspires you to do something of your own creation I would love to see that so go ahead and send those to me at vintage or tacky on Instagram Facebook and Twitter really love to check those out also you can follow me if you're into that my crystal ball is telling me that you guys are in for a very exciting makeup tutorial to begin today, I'm using the Sigma Bare Persuade eyeshadow base. This is a really great little product. It's very similar to like a MAC Paint Pot or any of those types of products. What I love about it is that it's kind of like a concealer and eyeshadow base in one. So it's great for blocking out any kind of veiny or redness on the lid before you do the next step, which is to start lining everything out in our eyeliner. This is the Physicians Formula Eye Booster in Ultra Black. Today we're going for a very extreme type cat eye, so I wanted to make sure that I was making it even and kind of balancing everything out and finding out where I wanted everything placed. So I'm just using that to sort of map everything out. I'll even carve out the little spot where I'm going to put the eyeshadow later and I'll make the line a little bit bolder just to kind of see, okay, yeah, that's where we're going. Then I went ahead and filled in my eyebrows because I realized I forgot to do them. So this is the MAC Velux Brow Pencil. It's a really great little brow pencil. Uh, and then after I did that, I used the Beguile Brow Set from MAC, which is a really great brow gel. And I always say that brow gel is brow gel is brow gel, but this one's actually pretty fantastic. It has a color to it, so you can see it's making them quite a bit darker and thicker. And then I went in with the Makeup Forever Aquamatic. I love this stuff. So this is a really great like metallic chartreuse pencil thingy-majig. It is so, oh my god, it's so lovely. So I'm putting that all over a little more than half of my lid because I'm going to have that be the base for the orange eyeshadow as well. And then I'm putting a purple in the outer portion. This one's from Milani. Love this one as well. Gorgeous. In fact, these two together are beautiful on their own, but the orange in between, I think, just really brings it home. Uh, I then blended out the purple just because it was a little bit rough and it was a little, you know, just, you know, blending. Do I really need to explain why to blend? I mean, you, you gotta blend. It's just, it's something you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. So then on the inner portion of the lid, I'm going to put a little bit of Max Bitter eyeshadow. I ended up not really liking this, even though, I mean, it looks fine, but the Aquamatic pencil is so metallic and this just took away from it. So I decided to just go back over it with the Aquamatic pencil again and just make it nice and metallic again. And the great thing about this pencil is that it is easy to layer it on top of other things. And then for the outer corner, I'm taking Sugar Pills Poison Plum Eyeshadow and a 252 brush, which is the same one I use to blend out the pencil. And I'm packing it on top of the eyeshadow base, but I'm also going to sweep that into the black part, like, you know, where I had the eyeliner and stuff. I am going to pack that on there as well, because I want it to have a nice, smooth transition and be all beautiful and stuff, so that's what I'm doing. Then I'm taking Sin City from the Makeup Geek Vegas palette. I think you can buy this individually, though. Don't quote me on that, though. And I'm using this to blend between the chartreuse shade and the purple. It does a beautiful job of making a nice transition without, like, because if you mix the green and the purple together, it, it, eh, it doesn't really turn out right. But if you put the little orange guy in between, it looks really, really cool in between the three colors. So now that I have all my eyeshadows on, I'm just going to go back in with that liquid liner, clean up all the lines, make sure everything's nice and thick and strong. I also needed to just add a little bit more onto the side that I'm working on now because the other side was a little thicker. So just go in and make it a little thicker, make it nice and crisp. I then decided to add some little wispies on the end. So that's what I'm doing, just kind of using that same shape, that same curved shape and just sort of following it and adding additional lines. For my liner on my upper eyelid, I'm again just using the Ultra Black Physicians Formula Eye Booster. It's like the star hero of this look. <laughs> Um, I'm also using it on the bottom to map out where I want to place my false lashes, so that's what I'm doing there. 
the NYX Wonder Pencil in medium and I'm putting that in my inner rim, making it all nice and fleshy. You could have done a white as well, which would make the eyes themselves actually look larger, but I've done that in a few tutorials, so I kind of wanted to try doing something else. And also this like fleshy color kind of makes it look creepier in a way if you ask me. Then I'm taking some really cool bottom lashes. Well, they're not specifically bottom lashes, but I'm using them on the bottom. These are the Sugar Pill Porcelain Lashes. They have this sort of like spiky situation. I love them. And they work really great on the bottom. And look how, I don't know, it just somehow makes it look so complete with that. I don't know what it is, but I dig it. And then for my top lid, I'm using another pair of Sugar Pill Lashes. These are the Cinescent Lash. These ones have more of like a fanned out look. I didn't want the upper lashes to be you know, very, very strong just because I felt like, you know, you had all the eyeshadow that was bold and then the bottom lashes are so bold. I didn't feel like we really needed a very bold lash on top, but I did want something there. So I'm also applying a little bit of black mascara and then a little bit more of my Physicians Formula Eye Booster. <sighs> this thing got a workout. <laughs> And then I also did a little few more little line thingies because you can never have enough line thingies. Um, you guys also might notice I'm wearing a different wig right here. I at first thought that I might want to wear the black wig and then I was like, no, actually I don't dig this. It was not really working for me. So I ended up changing it. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Don't know if I love this yet or not. I'm not sure. So we are back to my actual wig that I'm wearing for this video and a little bit of the OCC Lip Tar Primer. I just started using this and I think that actually really does make a difference with lip tars, which surprised me because I really didn't think that it would. I thought it was just going to be the same texture as the lip tars, but it's actually a bit smoother and it does dry down a little bit more. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe just having that clear color on beforehand does help with the lip tar primer. I don't know. I'm testing it out, guys. For my lips today, I'm using the OCC Lip Tart in Pagan. It's a gorgeous, deep, deep, dark eggplant. Super, super dark. Almost looks black in some lighting. Uh, I know yeah, I had told you guys that the NYX Wicked Lippy in Betrayal was very similar, which is true. It's very, very close. But this one's just slightly more pigmented, and since I was going to be filming the costume and everything, I wanted something that was really going to last. And then the final step is to take a little bit of the Lorac 3D Liquid Luster and just put that right there in the inner corner to get me that beautiful, beautiful, to give me the beautiful golden glimmer, shine, shimmer stuff. I love, love, love this product. And that's the finished look. Here we have the big reveal of the finished look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I had so much fun creating this for you. If you'd like to see photos of this look, I will have them for you at vintageyourtacky.com. I will also have links to the products that I use in the description box down below. I want to know what you guys think of this look, so leave me a comment down below or hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to make good choices and just be yourself. See you, bye.